Hey everybody, it's Connor from Steel Lodge, and today we're checking out the update to Steam's Big Picture Mode. Now right now I just have the original version because I want to do a direct comparison between what the original one looks like right here and what the updated one looks like. Now the new one actually draws from the Steam Deck and pulls that visual style over here to the desktop. I'm running on my Windows 11 PC here, just the desktop I use all the time. So we'll just fly through some tabs here. This is what our library looks like before, and sorry if you can hear some noise in the background. There's a lot of construction going on over here at my place currently. But we have our downloads, all the games we have installed, our library and everything. I like big picture mode, but I definitely thought it could be better. So I'm eager to see what it looks like here with the improved version. I definitely thought the store was one of the weaker things here in big picture mode. In this view we have currently, not a lot of ways to get around in my opinion, just pretty straightforward. I don't really wanna show off any of my friends on here, so I won't really get into the community tab, but uh, those are the two main ones that I wanted to look at. Even the front landing page here is not very appealing to look at. You have to dive into stuff right away. So let's switch over to the new look and see how much better it looks. Additionally, if you want to opt into the beta to get the new features, go here to your Steam account and then change this so you can participate in this beta to the Steam beta update. Hit OK here, just restart Steam and you should be good to go. Now one additional thing you need to do to access the new big picture mode is to make a shortcut for Steam, make sure you close out of Steam, and then add this right at the end here of the target, this little argument, and then hit apply. And then we can launch Steam up in this way and open up the new big picture mode. As you can see here, it launches right into the new big picture mode. And I'm actually using a ultra wide monitor. And previously, actually, it would not fill my ultra wide monitor so right off the bat here, this looks way better on a ultrawide screen because it actually fills the whole screen up here. And it looks just like what you would see on the Steam Deck where I can see a bunch of my games right off the bat. So that way I don't have to jump through a couple menus to get into maybe if I just want to jump into Persona 5 Royal right away on my couch. I just launch into big picture mode and I can pick it right from here. If you scroll down, you still have the news, everything here, your friends. And if we scroll down here, you can see updates for games, trending among your friends. Some really great stuff here, special offers too. And right now we have the Steam Halloween sale going on. So this is a great place to see things that are on sale if you're interested to pick something up. Now, if you use the bumpers here, you'll go between the tab. Right now I'm just on the what's new, but if you press right bumper or left bumper, it'll jump between the ones here. So over here in the recommended tab, we can see a bunch of games in my library and that are on sale that it recommends I check out or play. And I really prefer this. It's a lot more information dense and on the ultra wide monitor, it looks really good. Now, normally I would just use big picture mode on my couch because uh, my monitor is, you know, right with my mouse and keyboard. So I wouldn't necessarily use this there, but this looks very nice. Now I've pulled up my profile here to see how it looks on this. And honestly for ultra wide monitors, I don't think the scaling is the best for steam profiles, but it looks pretty good here. There's definitely some weird scaling issues going on, but you can tab through the page pretty nice with a controller. Now, if we go here to this globe, we can click on it and we can see that we have our settings and this looks just like the Steam Deck UI, honestly. You have your display, your controller. All this is very similar to what you would see on the Steam Deck. And if you press the Xbox button, because I'm using an Xbox controller, it'll pull up with the side menu, just like you would see on the Steam Deck. So let's go to our library and it's the same UI you would get on your Steam Deck which is a lot better here. I can go to my collections, say I wanna play a platformer game and hop right into this menu. So getting around is much faster and nicer than it was on the previous big picture mode. And this feels really responsive here on this 144 Hertz monitor. It feels a lot snappier than it does on the Steam Deck, but that makes sense. This is a faster computer and uh, it's on a much faster refresh rate monitor. Let's go to the store here to check this one out too. This looks a lot nicer than what we saw previously on the big picture mode over there. Some of the things on the ultra wide monitor still don't scale the best though. Uh, and some of these images are blown up quite large, probably bigger than they should be if you're this close so they don't look the best. And then if we check out some of the screenshots here, I'm just curious. Yep, it's got the stuff from my Steam Deck and basically just everything that I've taken and uploaded. Going down and opening the settings tab, we'll go right to the globe as well that you have up here. And if you want to, you can search for something right up top just like you would be able to on the Steam Deck. So if we search for Resident Evil, we get just the Resident Evil games that are in my library, or you could search the store if you want to. So this is definitely an amazing update to big picture mode. And I intend to use big picture mode quite a bit more on the couch with this update because it's just so much nicer to navigate and it looks way better visually. 
I kind of want Steam to get an overhaul on the desktop side too, because I think it could use a bit of an update. I think the big picture mode now looks quite a bit better than the regular client, but with a keyboard and mouse, the regular client is still the king when it comes to browsing around and speed. I'm pretty curious to see if Valve will open up Steam OS and allow it to be installed on devices. It'd be a great option for lightweight handhelds, and who knows, maybe even people will opt to install it on their desktop PCs to get away from Windows. But personally for me, I just like staying on Windows for now for my main computer. But that's about going to wrap it up here guys. Really impressed with the update, and if you want to, you can check it out for yourself here. Other than that, check out the YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more content. Later.